This is a little gem I have hesitated to share. It was in my head and in my heart until I thought this is too beautiful, this is too helpful, and it can maybe help others who feel the same as I do. So this little gem is um, an experience I had recently, a conversation I had by meeting my friend Ia, this wonderful man who bravely came back to help humanity despise the battlefield that is still going on on Earth, the psychological war. We are exchanging conversations quite regularly. You know, these two hours conversation I um, describe in my book, my last book, The Cedars. It's not all of it. After this book was published, I kept on having contact with him and I still, and we have this um, easy way to communicate with each other and to visit him. We speak a lot and um, I had this, this conversation a few days ago and I want to share this with you. I always come to him with questions, okay? And um, he gladly, nicely answers most of the time um, when he, he thinks it is uh, a good thing. Otherwise, you know, sometimes he doesn't give information because it's not tactical, I would say. Well, I started to ask him questions about the giants and we had a conversation about it and um, I'll make a video, don't worry for that. He interrupted, he started to to answer to me say, by saying, oh, you know, I've traveled uh, so far to come here. And then he stopped, he went, he looked at me with his beautiful blue eyes and he said, I feel pain in your chest, pointed his finger on my heart chakra. And he said, there is a profound wisdom in knowing the winding roots of sadness. This path you are walking right now, what does it tell you? What are you learning from it? And as he spoke these words, the, the weight was lifting. I said to him, well, I suppose I've been longing for an anchor. He answered, he answered back to me, he said, oh, you've traveled a long way, a long time, as much as time as me. And um, yes, I replied, I... I want to experiment. That was my life purpose throughout all my incarnation, to experiment the, the human experience. And he said, you know, you are not alone all the way. I wasn't alone indeed, I said. Um, I had my soul group family with me. Thorhan, Una, and he said, oh yes, the Altians, she who comes first by the name of Una. As you know, Una is a title, it means the emissary, she who comes first. Yes, and I said, yeah, and the others, um, and, um, but I forgot how beautiful and welcoming my original home world is. 
This goes so far in the past, in the memories. <laughs> Ea replied to me, Hey, you carried it with you all the way, during all this time. It's true, it's in my soul, I said. Yes, he said, in the heart of your soul. That is why you are in pain. Because you do not feel anchored anymore. But now that you are, you, you need to know that you are anchored in the universe. Anchored to the universe, he said. Source is your guiding thread to all of your incarnations. You follow the web of the universal life. Each pain is a route to follow, he said, for it leads to a door. And he added, can you see it? I replied to him, the mission is heavy sometimes. I feel the weight. And he said, you carry it in your heart. It is the most important and intense moment of your life when you are finally offering the gift that you have nurtured all this time. You reveal the secret about the origins of humankind on earth, I asked. Indeed, he replied. Listen, my dear friend, he said. You come here on my ship, and it is a strain for your body. Let us meet in a different and easier way in the future, he said. Oh, I replied, I like to come here. It feels like it's where I belong. This, this higher and brighter density, this light. And I explained to him how I, I missed light, this, this light on earth, because Earth is darker down there. It's not as bright as in the sixth density ship, the Nibiru. I say I miss light so much on Terra because Terra is darker. And he replied this. He said, because you are meant to bring the light. So I want to share this with you because if sometimes some of you feel disanchored from home, if sometimes you don't even remember where home is, As Ia said to me, remember that you carried home with you all that time. You had this light that you longed for within you all that time. You never walked alone. Your soul group was there, your family, your dearest ones. They were walking with you all the time. From other densities, remotely from other worlds, or incarnated beside you, playing different roles. But you were never alone. Never. The true loneliness, I, I feel, sometimes for contactees is not being alone physically because we are in a world of humans, of people, we have families, good friends, lovers, we're not alone in that way, but we may be alone in the way that we cannot share how intense, how powerful 
are the experiences that we we have of world and not being able to share even if we try to it's difficult so i do my best to use drawings and video editing with nice music, nice visuals, um, write books with all the details, make videos. I do my best with the creative talents that I've picked before coming. So I hope you enjoy my sharing, my experiences, my contacts. But just know that this is just describing and actually, the experience cannot truly be shared. I had the pleasure and the honor to meet our celebrity, JP, US Army whistleblower, friend of Dr. Salah. And um, we had amazing discussions where, oh my God, you were there too. And we were sharing um, our impressions, our memories. And with the same intensity, we could understand each other. And talking about just flying by Jupiter, feeling the electro electromagnetic field resonating with all our cells and our atoms. And that cannot be described, but just lived and and. When you meet someone who's been experiencing the same things, it's exciting. Things I can share also with Alex Collier, my dear friend. And um, read conversations too. So this video is about, I suppose, The loneliness of the mission, the dedication. And um, if you can notice, I'm not saying this with tears. I'm saying this with a big smile because it's just freaking awesome. <laughs> it's knowing that I'm not alone understanding I have my people upstairs people here all wonderful you and if sometimes I feel lonely because I cannot share with all of you I have a few friends I can share it with friends who have experience as me so I hope you enjoyed what Anki said to me And especially when he said, you never missed home. You carried home with you throughout all your incarnations. And also when he said that I needed not to miss the light and wish light, earth was brighter. Because at the end of the day, we are meant to bring light into this world. We are the lighthouses. We are the bearers of light, the carriers of the futures, the openers of the ways. It's us. It's all of you. You open the ways for your children and your children's children. Sometimes I look at these little kids in the street and I went, I think, you, you will go to space. You will go to Jupiter, to the Ashtar Command. You will go to Mars. You will go to Alpha Centauri. You will go to Silo, Meton, um, Vega, Era, Hora. All these places. You'll go there, kid. You have no idea what's coming. I'm so thrilled for this beautiful future. So bring this light 
feel at home wherever you go because your home it's here